Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Breaking news. DJ Switch beg International Criminal Court to probe lucky shooting. Hello, wonderful people. Our very own sister, DJ Switch, the lady, yes, who made the world, uh, the world aware of what Nigerian government was doing to her very own citizen, you know, carrying uh, life ammunition, facing unarmed protesters who were only crying for a better government and a better lease of life. Well, she was the person who you know, stream it live to YouTube, uh, to, to Instagram live. And, uh, you know, the whole world could see what was going on uh, as the, the whole incident was going on right in Lekki. Let's get straight into the news. Today, she appeared before the criminal, International Criminal Court to talk about all that happened during the answers. Let's get all the details. DJ Switch beg ICC, International Criminal Court, to probe the lucky shooting. Popular DJ Obia Juno, popularly known as DJ Switch, has pleaded with the International Criminal Court of Investigation to investigate the lucky Togate shooting, which has led to conflicting reports on the number of casualty. DJ Switch addressed the office of Fatiu Ben Sodea the ICC prosecutor in a virtual event on Thursday after the announcement of the preliminary inquiry into the alleged criminal, alleged criminal activity during the NSAS protest. DJ Switch alleged that the present government will rather silence and kill its citizens than to be guarded by their concern and cries. She also pointed out that this same government froze the accounts of the protesters and seized passports but cannot strike the accounts of those sponsoring evil and terrorism in the country. Recall that the Ego Online reports that fake, that fake news was going on during the Lekki Togate shooting. DJ Switch was alleged to be to be sending to be seeking for asylum in Canada. Speaking to the ICC, the International Com Criminal Court, she said, NSAS is a movement against police brutality, which since has become a much bigger movement against bad governance. The reason is simple. From Muhammadu Buhari downward, they, have been, they are all SARS. They are all criminal elements who have not allowed Nigeria, Nigeria to thrive as a nation. This is a government that will rather silence and kill her citizens rather than be guarded or be consigned about the cries of the people. At the height of the pandemic, that what was donated by the people to feed the less privileged, especially during the time when the whole world went on lockdown. Guess what? Nigerian government stored them up in warehouses. One that would rather be spent on one that would rather be spent on their own personal gain. Some even used it as souvenirs during their birthday. The government of Nigeria will rather spend time with cows than addressing their citizens. The same government chose to injure, rough handle the people who went out on a peaceful protest. This has not yet been on this has not yet been dealt with. Nobody has been accused or condemned or nobody has been called to justice on account of all that happened. It is, still, it is still the same government that froze the account of protesters and seized passports that cannot seem to track, track or trace the account of those who are sponsoring terrorism in Nigeria. It states that in the constitution of Nigeria, there is nowhere that protest is against the rights of, of Nigerians. Nigerian people are primarily governed by the government who do not intend well or mean well for the people at all. On the 20th of October 2020, the Nigerian army, sanctioned by the Nigerian government, stormed the Lekki toll gate in the first wave to assault and to kill 
her very own citizens. There was no warning, just gone shot into the air uh, towards the protesters. We were forced to have a crash course on, me on medical procedures, attempting to rescue and extract bullets from legs of protesters until one ambulance came after being refused to come through by the same army people. So please, this should be investigated and not just be left. At least we counted 15 bodies while I was there. A few hours later came the second wave on us of a set of Nigerian police with the same model operative killing and injuring those who were left at the toll gate or who were injured, totally shooting them. The same police also shot at us the next morning. This is just one incident. This is how they go about and they kill their very own people. Right now, the Nigerian army are hiding the issues of all that happened. Even the cops they took along with them and so have said, where are the cops? Nigerian government cannot investigate the probe into those who are committing and sponsoring the B-Boys in Nigeria, but are freezing the account of those who have gone out on a peaceful protest for Nigeria to be good. We hereby call on the ICC to look into the affairs of all that happened and investigate what really happened on the 20th of October to Nigerian citizens, youths who went out to cry for a better life. So this is our sister, our very own sister, DJ Switch, who went out, you know, who was who, who started the whole filming, you know, and, and, and stream it live straight into Instagram and, uh, you know, uh, live chat immediately that was being received all across the world. I tell you that night, everybody was watching what was happening from wherever people, people were just connecting and seeing what Nigerian government were doing. It was all out there in the open. They could not lie any further. You see, and since then, she has become a fugitive because, you know, Nigerian government, they better cover their track. So they are very good at covering tracks. They've decided to cover their tracks and to make her look like she's a criminal rather than somebody who exposed their evil atrocity. Nigerian government have since not changed. They keep lying to Nigerians. Look at Garu Bashewu, who told Nigerians that it was just 10 boys. That is how they lie. There is no truth in any of them. From Buhari downward, like you heard DJ Switch, they are all the SARS people. They, if they want to catch these people who are, who are committing this atrocity in this country, there is nothing difficult for them to catch them. A Mefeli will never reveal those who are sponsoring the B-Boys because it's all part of it. They got him the job. So for him to reveal them is him losing his job. So you see the kind of criminal element people that call themselves leaders. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.